Now, for many years, there have been numerous arguments about China's relationship with Africa. Beijing has lent billions of dollars to countries on the continent, but critics, especially the U.S., say countries are being burdened with unrealistic levels of debt. The BBC's Dickens Olewe asked the Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Wu Peng, whether China's lending model is a debt trap. Quite the contrary, I think, is uh, through cooperation with China that many developing countries have emerged from the trap of underdevelopment or no development. China's funding to Kenya, for example, and other African countries is aimed at development. China always, of course, attached a high importance to the debt sustainability. Kenya people need tangible projects. For those young men who sit the street looking for a job, what they need is action. There are many Kenyans who are anxious uh, because they see uh, the government borrowing from, from China. And usually, whenever these uh, deals are made, they are not transparent. And therefore, they have this concern that there is this grand secret plan by China to take over Kenya. I clearly deny there are any possibility that China's rule long in, the, in some day will control any asset or size the any property of Kenya. But is there a legitimate concern about transparency because uh, Let me put it this way. In the transparency issue, we try our best to keep transparency in according to common international practice. China is not unique. We are just uh, very similar with Japan, uh, Germany, US, UK, and other countries. All right? There have been reported instances, several instances uh, of conflict between mm -hmm. Kenyans and uh, Chinese uh, uh, workers especially. I'm wondering what is China doing to help improve relationship between Kenyans uh, and Chinese living in Kenya? Oh, I, I do not agree with that uh, if there are any conflict, okay? According to my knowledge, most of Kenya will come Chinese with open arms. I, I know there are some problems. I cannot deny it. Uh, I think they may be isolated cases. Uh, I always educate it or tell my Chinese fellows that please, uh, if this is in Kenya, you must respect the culture and law of Kenya. And I encourage them to communicate exchange much more frequently with Kenya people and respect the rule of law. That's the Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Wu Peng, speaking to Dickens Olewe.